Hey everybody, welcome to The Dad Plays. I am the dad who plays things. And today, I thought I needed to do just a quick little video for y'all telling you how you can go about getting your bedrock skin in Java. Because if you are used to seeing yourself like this, and you are happy with the way you look in bedrock, and you know, we, we you get attached to your skin. You get attached to how you look, and that's totally acceptable, and it's totally reasonable. You decide, hey, maybe I wanna play Java. And when you play Java, you look like this. And you're like, hey, this doesn't look anything like what I'm used to seeing because I want to look like the other guy or girl or character or whatever it is that you have chosen as your skin. You want to look like that and not like Steve or Alex or whoever. But this is not the skin that you're used to. Well, you're in luck because I've got a really, it's a little convoluted, but it's an easy enough process that will let you get your bedrock skin ported to Java in just a few short steps. So we gotta go back to bedrock real quick and I'll show you a server that you can use to log into thanks to the people at Geyser Minecraft. All of the links that you will need to use, I will put in the description so you can copy and paste those, but I'll show you how to get your bedrock skin ported to Java in just a few relatively simple steps. Let's go. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to log in to the Test Geyser server. And it's super easy if you're on PC, if you're on a console, you may end up having to use something like Bedrock Together or Bedrock Connect to allow you to play on a custom server but we're gonna go ahead and log in. I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so when you log into the Geyser test server, you're gonna be greeted with this, and it's gonna look kinda like this, and you don't have to do really anything other than this. You can't break any blocks there. You, it says, see, it, this is a safe zone. It'll just rip here, so you can't break anything. But what you need to do here, the reason you need to come onto this server is one of two things. You need to get your XUID or your Xbox user ID. I believe that's what it stands for. And then you need to get your texture ID. So those are the first two links that you're gonna need to use that I will show you down in the description. So I now have logged into this server and you will notice that yes, I don't look like myself at all but that's okay don't worry you may not look like yourself but you are yourself i promise so what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in api.geysermc.org v2 xbox xuid and then your gamer tag i've logged into the geyser server so it now has a log of my gamer tag you're gonna see xuid which is unique to you, and then a long string of numbers that I'm gonna have grayed out here because not everybody needs to know my XUID. And you're gonna use this number that you're gonna copy right here, and you're gonna do the next link, which is the same V2, but it's like it's slash skin, and then slash your XUID. And what that's gonna give you is a whole bunch of numbers and letters, and we care nothing about most of these except this right here where it says texture ID. You're gonna look for texture ID, and you're gonna copy this long, long number that you see inside the quotation marks, and then you're gonna do another link which is textures.minecraft.net slash texture, and then you're gonna paste that really long link. And what that's gonna do is give you this funky little thing. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's your skin. That, this little thing, we're gonna zoom in, it looks really blurry, we're 500% zoomed in. This is your bedrock skin. And so now all you do, you save that image, 
and you can save it whatever. I'm just gonna save it as the dad plays skin. There we go. And so now when we go back to the Minecraft launcher, you have to do this in the Minecraft launcher. This is not like in Bedrock where you change your skin inside the game. So now that you have that PNG file, your skin file, when you open up the Minecraft launcher, this is one of the big differences between Bedrock and Java Edition. It's this right here. You adjust your skin. See, I've already imported mine, but I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna browse for my skin file. And we're gonna open up that PNG and there it is. There's my skin and uh, you can make some tweaks to it, but it's your skin file. It's gonna have your hair, it's gonna have your stuff. I went to the Minecraft experience, and so I have that cape if I want to. No capes! Or no cape at all. So we're just gonna leave it no cape at all, and we are going to save and use. This is the file right here that I just downloaded, and we're gonna go back to play. And we're loaded back into our world, our Java test world here for y'all, and we look like ourselves again. So that's it. That's a quick and easy way. If you have a Bedrock skin that you really like and you want to be able to experiment a little bit with Java and look and feel like yourself again, it's maybe mildly convoluted, but it works nonetheless. So there you go. So just know, if you do have trouble with it loading your skin, if you change your skin right before you log on to the Geyser test server, it might not pick it up immediately. If you give it just a little bit of time, chances are when you go back to it, if you save all your numbers, make yourself a little text file, copy these links that are in the description and use those, super easy. Get yourself your Bedrock skin on Java. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I release a new video. I hope you're having a great day, and if you're not, I hope it only gets better from here. I'm the Dad Who Plays Things, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.